Remember when men had suits made or off the rack that fit? I watch young men on their way to work and they look like they are all imitating Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> well, then again, let's say that we must blame it on the previous generation that didn't set a precedent. As a child, we would watch the older guys and how they stood and how they, when they reached their arms up to, they were able to be flexible. <laughs> and you know what's funny is, do you remember when the pedestrian had to ride away? <laughs> remember when fiber content in garments represented quality? Remember the EEO? Do you remember the Jewish American was listed as a minority? Remember the prominent Islamic groups were the black Muslims? In Holland, we didn't even know they were other Muslims because the papers were always talking about Muhammad, what was his name? Elijah Muhammad, etc., etc. Then all of a sudden, all these other people came out and we said, oh my God. I think when Malcolm went to Mecca, he took us with him because we learned that there were many different types of races. Do you remember? when Muslims were not a race, but a religion? Do you remember when blacks had their own talk radio venues that later were eliminated by white liberals, <laughs> primarily in America? Do you remember when guardian angels were heroes before their leaders made scandalous front page headlines right in this neighborhood, as a matter of fact? When English first was a national anthem? Remember when Gays were interesting. <laughs> remember when blacks were not the thugs in prison movies? You know, if you remember those old movies, there would be one black guy and everyone else would be white, and he would, sit, and he would be strumming or blowing a. a, a I mean, these are things that young black kids sort of gravitate gravitate toward. Remember neighborhoods. And outsiders had to walk a chalk line when show, uh, by showing respect. The sad part about the East Village, I don't know what happened. And this was perhaps the most creative area in modern American history. The Ukrainians were here, everyone was here. But the young, white, black, whatever, came in and took control of a culture that seemed to make a statement that we're here, and we're going to take over. Unfortunately, a lot of us were inept, a lot of, a lot of us were egotists, and a lot of us were druggies. <laughs> but uh, I, I must say, remember when veterans were treated like shit by hippies and liberals and conservatives? They all dodged the draft and became politicians. Remember when communism was a dirty word? Unfortunately, the communists are now able to replace the Christmas tradition with propaganda. Look in Washington Square. Oh, by the way, to be more specific, way, way, way. 